Before we build more APIs, let's spend some time and look at the response content type. So if you look at the message resource object, you see that both these methods, API methods, have been annotated with that producers, and the media type is application XML. I didn't mention in the previous tutorials that all these APIs would be implemented in JSON format. So there is actually a reason why I chose XML. So what do you have to do to change this to JSON? Right now, this is XML. So what do I have to do to change this to JSON? That should be as simple as changing this annotation, right? Now, if I were to say media type dot application JSON, it should work, shouldn't it? Let's give that a try. I'm gonna change both of them to application JSON. Let's wait for the server to redeploy. Let's try accessing this again. We get an error. There is error code 500. Let's look at the error logs and see what's happening. Well, there's an error which says message body writer not found for application JSON. You remember there was a similar error when we tried to convert uh, to XML, but here the reason is actually different. Think about what does the conversion. I mentioned that it's uh, the conversion from the message instance to XML is being done by JAXP and JAXP kind of comes with Java. So there is really nothing extra that's needed. Jersey, whenever it wants to do the conversion says, hey, JAXP convert this to XML for me, okay? The problem is there's no such thing for JSON. There's no converter that comes out of the box uh, in with Java for Jersey to hand over the responsibility to. So you will have to add the jar that does this conversion into your application class path. So let's do that. Open the file called pom.xml in the root of your project. So this contains all the dependencies, like I mentioned, right? It contains all the jars that are included in your libraries. So you see there's this Maven dependencies, it contains a bunch of jars. So you add a dependency over here, it shows up in the jars. So what's the dependency you need to add? Scroll down and here, you see there is the section here, which is commented out, which is uncomment this to get JSON support. And there is this one dependency, which is called Jersey Media Moxie. So this is the jar which does the conversion. So Moxie is a library for handling JSON conversions. So this project, the template project, actually comes with this dependency, but it's commented out so that people who don't need JSON don't need to use it. So, well, it doesn't get any easier than this. You just remove the comment here, and now you should have this added as a dependency. I'm gonna save this, and now the workspace, workspace is being built. Now if you expand the Maven dependencies, you should see Moxie somewhere over here. There you go, there it is. All right, so now hopefully the application is redeployed. Let's try this again. Slash messages, I'm doing a get again, but this time I'm returning application JSON. Well, there you go, it worked. We have JSON output. I'll be talking more about how this conversion happens in a later tutorial, but the thing you need to keep in mind is there are these libraries that you will have to include for different types of conversions. And some of the classes that are included in those libraries implement a particular interface. So there is an interface called message body reader, and there's an interface called message body writer. So what we are looking at is a message body writer. It's a class that converts from a Java type to something like XML or JSON types. And uh, that was what was missing. And that's why you got a message body writer error. Now adding this dependency in your POM is gonna add that message body writer implementation to your class, which does the conversion from message instances to JSON, and that's how the JSON uh, conversion works. I hope that made sense. Uh, we're gonna talk more about message body readers and message body writers later, but this was a quick tutorial to switch from our uh, XML implementation to JSON, and in the future, all our uh, APIs are gonna implement JSON. So in the next tutorial, we're going to add more APIs. See you then, and thanks for watching.